Hi friends. So today's focus is going to be on breath. And the reason I thought it might be nice to do this is because we're always talking about opening up to source within, but the last two conversations about interconnectedness and life is not our own, then give us an opportunity to begin to ask, what does it mean that the divine is my center? What does it mean that I have everything that I need? What does it mean that I'm not separated from anything on an essence level? And there has been a wonderful surge of practices that have become mainstream over these past few decades that are putting us into direct contact with this through use of the body. So I love the use of breath, just like heartbeat. And breath is a wonderful metaphor for divine essence. It is a example of form and perhaps the life-giving essence of form. It has, it has a lot of layered meanings to it. And it also points to the ineffable. It also gives us the opportunity to touch in on those parts of ourselves that are beyond the body. So what we want to do with our body practices is allow ourselves to let the body practice itself take us beyond the body, not away from the body, but beyond stopping just at the physical form. So we're just going to jump right in and there are thousands if not millions of breath exercises. And I'm sure if you're doing this meditation series, you are aware of these practices. But we're just going to, we're going to do one today. And I'm going to start it off by reading, <laughs> no surprise, right? But it's got such great language around breath. This one is Sutra 154. And therefore, we know it's a practice. It's one of the illuminations and the practices and not one of the sutras of insight. Breath flows in. Breath flows out. Traveling always the curving path of the goddess. Breath flows spontaneously of its own will. Thus all breathing beings continually give reverence to her. Be conscious of this unconscious prayer for she is the most holy place of pilgrimage. She wishes for you to enter this temple where each breath is adoration of the infinite or the incarnate form. And here, even in these words, we, we have the nuanced way of becoming aware and engaging breath. It's about observing breath. It is about participating consciously with breath. It is about opening to the essence of, in here it's using the words her, the Shakti, the infinite intelligence, to opening to the breath, taking us on a pilgrimage to discover it. It is the releasing into an adoration of the infinite or the incarnate form. It's not the incarnate adoring the infinite. It is the infinite adoring the incarnate. So with that, I invite you to close your eyes. And if you can, let your feet rest the whole foot, both feet on the ground, if you can.
bring your attention <clears throat> to your belly button. And after the next exhale, bring your focus down to the belly button and keeping the mouth closed, if you can, if your nose isn't stuffed, inhale from the belly button all the way up to the third eye, the center of the forehead. You can even tap the forehead if you want as you're inhaling. Then release the tap and exhale, third eye down to the belly button. And again, hold and exhale, return to the belly button. Inhale, belly button to third eye, hold, exhale, third eye down to the belly button. Inhale, belly button, third eye, exhale, third eye. Inhale, belly button, third arm. Exhale, lower down, down to the belly button. Continue at your own pace. Awakening to the pilgrimage. After the next exhale, move the gaze downward about four inches and deep into the abdomen. And let the inhale come from there and go all the way up to the crown. And after the next exhale, move the focus down to the base of the spine. And on the inhale, pull the breath up from the base, all the way up through the body, through the crown, and just a little above the crown.
Send the gaze down to the soles of the feet. And on the next inhale, pull the breath from the soles all the way up through the body, a few inches above the crown. And pause there and then let the exhale descend. Back. Following the pathway as closely as you can, revering the goddess. while keeping the attention on the breath, let the hands sit with the palms upward. And on the next exhale, let the exhale move your attention to the palms of both of your hands. Palms are sitting upwards on your lap or your legs. And let the focus of the breath just be in the two palms. Keeping the breath within the palms, like a left palm holds something you wish to release. And let the right palm hold something you wish to receive. Focus on the breath and choose what you wish to release and what you wish to receive. And on the next, inhale, be conscious on the exhale.
And then as you inhale, close the palms. And as you exhale, open the palms. The palms follow the breath. Move at your own pace, but let your pace be intentional. And do one more round. And relax. Maybe turn your hands so that they face down on the body. Let the palms gently rub on the thighs. And release your focus upon the breath. When you're ready, open your eyes. See if you do. You can follow your breath as a pilgrimage, just like the sutra says. Blessings, my friends. <laughs>